<laughs> right. Because <laughs> you would have been upset with it if it didn't please you. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you would have said something then. <laughs> you can't wait till you missed your period and all that, right? I'm talking about it in the letter, right? I'm writing to you. Mm hmm. I'm talking about dealing with it if I got you pregnant, right? But I don't understand why you don't think you have to tell me you want oral sex when I have a penis, right? I'm not hard in the freaking, I don't know, <laughs> even though I was wearing a bikini, I'm not hard, I'm not hard. <sighs> we made out, mm -hmm. went back to the ship, mm -hmm. I started trying to eat you out, mm -hmm. started trying to pull down your pants when someone interrupted it, you went back to the ship, mm-hmm. We set up the date for tomorrow after we both got up work. <laughs> both at four. Both at four. <laughs> I know. Right? We went on from there. Mm -hmm. We went walking. You bought the blanket. <laughs> mm -hmm. We were talking romantically. Mm -hmm. We started making out in the park on the bench. I started sucking your boob. <laughs> Under the blanket. <laughs> we changed location so I could pull down your pants. I stuck in my penis. <laughs> Finished. Both of us, I think. <laughs> we pulled up our pants. Me, yours, first, then mine. <laughs> you can't tell me at one point you didn't realize we were both undressed. Come on. <laughs> Then we went down to the market. I started singing to you Stevie Wonder and different love songs, right? We had something to eat later on, right? By the time we got back, it was around 11. We had to catch a cab back. Mm -hmm. We had enough money for the cab, right? Mm -hmm. And I escorted you to your ship. <laughs> you went on the ship. If we agreed, even though you had duty, I would come and meet you Again, after work. Mm -hmm. And we did that. Mm -hmm. And I was on your ship till we ended. And, uh, till people had to be off your ship. <laughs> the following day. Mm -hmm. Nothing ever once said right, that what we did the following day was good, bad, good. <laughs> not something you want or not something you did. <laughs> So what am I supposed to think? Everything went well. Everything went well. And you can't change what happened between both of us. Even if you're thinking something different in the back of your mind and you don't tell me, that's why you got to do that a certain way. And uh, you're dating a male. <laughs> Did you tell me I want to wait for a church wedding before I have sex? And I told you I was already with five women? No. No. <laughs> I already had premarital sex. Right? You told me your dad had tried to have sex with you, but didn't. And, uh, but that should also show you a male, even your dad, is looking for sex. And, uh, unless you say so specifically. And, uh, to stop him. To stop him. Right? Right. If her dad tried and she had to stop him, she don't think she has to stop her boyfriend and tell him she don't want sex either? <laughs> he don't know that. He he knows she's not supposed to be with her dad at all. <laughs> not necessarily him. <laughs> she might still be with him. You get the point. <laughs> you might have wanted to be with me, whereas you wouldn't want to ever be with your dad. And that's understandable there. <laughs> But see, if you want a church wedding with me, right, before we have sex, and I didn't have premarital sex and told you that, right, you got to make sure I know that. <laughs> so I don't have premarital sex with you, like the other girls. <laughs> then I know. Then you know. 
But if you don't say nothing, I don't know nothing. <laughs> I've heard church girls are the worst about that. Mm -hmm. Especially if they have a word set, set with a relative or something. Yeah, yeah. Again, again. See, here's the thing. And, uh, if the female has a jealous boyfriend like Connie and Brian, for example, mm -hmm. and Junior scared Connie into having sex with me, who would interfere with that? Brian. <laughs> Not my cousin, hopefully. Hopefully he did the right thing and had sex with his own wife, Michelle. Because <laughs> I don't know that happened either. I don't know that happened either. But all Brian can say is, do you think he looks like Dion? If she says, yeah, then uh, him get mad about it <laughs> for some reason <laughs> and go on about me being gay or something. <laughs> but like Dion, <laughs> not have sex with his own wife <laughs> that night. Mm -hmm. So where again... <laughs> She has to come crawling to me to find out if I'm really gay or not. We have sex in the process. Mm -hmm. That's strange. That's very strange. <laughs> that means I'm having to raise up seed to my cousins who didn't seal the deal <laughs> and treat their women right and was more concerned with me being gay than making love to their wives on their wedding night. Don't that sound strange? <laughs> But I'm gay. But you're gay. <laughs> Not them. Not them acting gay towards you. <laughs> right. <laughs> now, I can't say that happened because both Brian and Dion would probably want to shoot my ass over if they did that. <laughs> but that would prove I'm not gay. <laughs> if they both did it. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't expect that. <laughs> I don't even know, again, if Michelle knows where Marcin is. <laughs> Which is where I would say when I come home from the Navy. Right. No point. No point. Like I said, like you said. <laughs> on and on about it, aren't we, today? <laughs> Bye. Bye.